Hello there, and welcome back to the Spring Development course. So in the last lesson, we actually went ahead and went over how we can create an application context and just install Spring Maven and an IDE, which we can then create an application out of. So now we actually need to create our beans.xml file. So inside SRC main Java, we're going to do new other XML XML file, the next, and we're going to call this beans.xml. Okay, and let's put it in the SRC folder, not in the main folder. And there we go. All right, so now let's go to source. And now we could actually do our beans.xml. So we're also going to go in and paste in the source for the XML tags. So this is going to be beans, XML, and S, and then these uh, links right here. They should be somewhere uh, near, uh, you know, somewhere near the video. To, to the left or to the right or something. Okay, and then we're going to close off beans as well. All right, so there we go. So now that we have our, our, our um, source defined, we can now do bean id equals uh, let's just say zero point okay then we're gonna do class equals com example pkg all right there we go so and then also I forgot the point class point so then we're gonna do um, property property name equals X value equals zero all right, there we go. Uh, I believe, and actually, we don't need this uh, closing. We just do like this. Uh, and then I believe actually that it was x, right? Yeah, private index. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to do the same exact thing for y. Let's do this ten point class just so we can uh, see the effects. Uh, and it's going to be ten instead of zero. There we go. So uh, now that what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our application start. We're going to do. Um, application context dot get bean and then the ID of the bean that we've created. So in this case, it's going to be point ten. That's going to return the bean. So now we're going to do point p equals application. And then we need to cast this to point. There we go. And now we can do system dot out dot println p dot get x. And then the same thing for p dot get y. And there we go. All right. So now we're going to do one last thing. Uh, instead of putting beans into our SRC folder, we're going to put it into our Java folder since that is technically the, the um, class path. So inside Java right here, we're just going to drag it into there. All right, and there we go. So now we can run our application. So let's do application start, uh, run as Java application. And there we go. So as you can see, we now have it. Let me move the console over here so that we can see it better. Okay, so as we can see, uh, Spring is actually initializing. So we have org, Spring Framework, Context, Support, Abstract, Application, Context, Prepare, Refresh. So then it's refreshing it. Uh, so it's the startup, root of context hierarchy. Then we have XML bean definition reader, load bean definition. So that's it's reading the XML. And then loading XML bean definitions from class path resource. And then it prints p.getx and p.gety, which is 1010. So there we go. So what exactly is happening here? Well, our application context is essentially just an object of Spring. Well, actually, no. Application context is an interface. Class path application context is an object that implements that interface, which actually gets our bean definitions from an XML file inside our class path. 
In this case, it is beans.xml. So it will look for a file called beans.xml and it will find it since we have created it. Then it's going to process that uh, beans.xml file. So, so essentially, it's going to take a look at it and see. Oh, look, we have a bean here of ID point 10. So that's its name. And its class is com example pkg point. So this bean that we've created here. Then we assign it the property uh, name x and value 10. So it creates a new object of type com example pkg point, then assigns x to t uh, 10 to x and 10 to y. Then when we call, where is our application star? There we go. When we call uh, application context bean, it'll just return back that bean. And then we just cast it to point, put it in p, and then we print p.getx and p.gety. So now inside our beans.xml file, if we go ahead and change 10 to, let's just say, 56, and this to, let's say, 76, we can now rerun application start. And a result, we get 56 and 76. So there we go. So now together, we have already created a very basic application. Now, in the next lesson, we're actually going to, be going to be going over exactly what happens behind the scenes and how reading the actual beans.xml file actually works. For homework, your only job really is to go ahead and um, implement this application as well as to add another bean, just like point. It can be, instead of a point, you can have a, um, I don't know, maybe a 3D point. So it's going to have int x, y, and z. And then, that, and then create another bean inside beans.xml, which will be a 3D point, which will have its corresponding value, and then to get that back. So it's not too difficult. It's essentially the same thing that as we did today. Um, so it, it should be pretty simple. Uh, really, the main part is just to get this running on your machine. So anyway, I wish you luck with homework, and uh, I'll see you next time. Too soon.